The UMass Minute Women are back at the Mullen Center today where they look to secure a win against the Fordham Rams on National Girls and Women in Sports Day. UMass entered this game looking to bounce back from a tough loss against George Mason as they enter the final stretch of their 2019-2020 season. Not many highlights came out of the first half as the Minute Women struggled to get shots to fall. UMass shot a rough 26% from the field while allowing Fordham to make over 50% of their shots. Their first half offensive troubles put them at a 15 point deficit heading into halftime. UMass was much more efficient on offense in the second half as Hampton Bay cuts hard to the basket and finishes through contact to get the and one. Sam Breen came alive in the second half and absolutely dominated the paint, putting up 15 of her team high 21 points. Breen's energy helped spark UMass's offense as they grinded their way back into the game and pushed for the late comeback. It was her point production that opened up more opportunities for her teammates and they successfully capitalized on those open looks. The Minute Woman were hit hard after Paige McCormick gets tripped up and injures her ankle. She would not return from the main of the contest. After grabbing the missed shot, Destiny Filoxi takes it coast to coast and finishes in traffic to make it a two possession game late in the fourth quarter. UMass fought hard in the second half, but their late comeback attempt came too little too late as free throw shots put the game just out of reach. Final score, Fordham 69, UMass 64. Head coach Tori Verdi emphasized the importance of playing hard through all four quarters. We played extremely hard in the fourth period, especially you know, overall in the second half. You know, you can't just play three periods of basketball. You gotta play four. Against a really good basketball team, you gotta play four. And uh, you know, we gotta figure that part out. Um, in order to, you know, beat a team like Fordham, um, you know, obviously uh, eight ten tournament champions, uh, you gotta you gotta compete for forty minutes and you gotta be extremely, you know, tough. UMass will be back in action on Wednesday as they host Dayton and aim to get back in the win column. For Amherst Wire Sports, I'm Michael Arujo.